When the anointing of God comes upon you, you fill with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And Jesus said, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. Oh. The fire. No, you know, Jesus said, come to me and drink out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is a God of consuming fire. Ah. Hallelujah. Amen. Say that Jesus comes to baptize us with the Holy Spirit and fire. Fire. Woo! Fire. Like I said before, God make his angels messengers, but his ministers a flame of fire. Fire. <laughs> so when you're filled with the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost, they were all in one room. And there come a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And they filled the whole place where they were sitting. And they were worshiping him. And then there appeared a flame of fire. Each and every one of them, 120 of them, were filled with the Holy Spirit. And they start to speak in tongues. The language of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, In my name, you will cast out demons. You will speak with new tongues. The language of heaven. You can have your religion. You can go to church. You can go to the temple. You can believe whatever you want to believe. But if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost and fire, you're not being anointed by the Holy Spirit and power. You do not belong to him. Hallelujah. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. It doesn't say those who go to church. It doesn't say that go, those who go to the temple or those who... It doesn't say that those who keep the Sabbath. It doesn't say that those who go to the temple are sons of God. The, 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 the Word of God says those who are led by the Spirit of God I sent from God. Somebody said, Hallelujah. 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 You can be a flame of fire. You can be filled with the Holy Ghost. You can speak in tongue. Hallelujah. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you can be anointed to minister in the power of the Holy Ghost. And you can be a minister of flame of fire. Fire. Woo! Consuming fire. That's right. You know, when the fire comes upon you, everything around you will burn. Yeah, the demons are scared of the fire of God. See, God is a God of consuming fire. I'm a little fire of God. Hallelujah. And when the demon sees me, and goes, oh no, here comes a little fire of God. Here's the fire of God coming. Hallelujah. Woo! So you must be filled with the Holy Ghost. You must have your flame upon you. Your head. See God anointed Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and power. Therefore, He went around doing good, healing all those who were sick and setting free those who were oppressed by the devil. Hallelujah! Amen. And then He defeated the devil when the devil came and tempted Him three times. He overcame the world. He destroyed the works of the devil with the power of the Holy Ghost. He has disarmed principalities and powers of darkness. He was crucified, died, and buried, and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. And when he rose from the dead, he said, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to obey everything they have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always till the end of the age. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, oh. The Holy Ghost and fire of God. He needs to be baptized in the fire of God. My brother. Because God is a God of consuming fire. Amen. It's a blessing for you. you okay. And birds of all the enemies before you. He made the Lord God of fire. My brother. They came to Moses when Moses went into the bush. And he saw the fire burning. And the tree is burning. But it's not burning. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he was like, whoa. What is that? 
That is the God of fire. Amen. See, it's not religion. That is the God of power. The God of fire. The anointing of God. The anointing of God shall come upon you. And you shall be a minister of the Holy of the power of the gospel, and you demonstrate the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And people will be saved, people will be healed. Jesus said in my name, you will cast out demons, you will speak in new tongues. And Jesus said, I give you the authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And he said, as the Father sent me, I sent you. Amen. Be anointed by Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be baptized by Jesus. He is the baptizer of the Holy Ghost. He's the God of consuming fire. Here he are. comes with fire. Woo! Amen, amen. Preach, brother. Hallelujah. Preach. The God of fire. The God of the anointed. The power. The mighty creator of the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In six days he did it. In the seventh day he rested. Hallelujah. How many days a week? Seven. Seven days a week. Hallelujah. That's where the seven days come from. Where does 2023 come from? 2023 years since God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And he was crucified. The sun stopped shining. The earth shook. The rock was split. The tomb stood open. And many bodies of the same died died race. They came out of their tombs after his resurrection. They went into the holy city and appeared to many people. Hallelujah. When the Romans saw this, they were extremely terrified and said, This is the Son of God. That's why they record him AD after death, BC before Christ. Hallelujah. Woo! Amen. Hallelujah. And he said, What's the evidence? I don't see God. I don't know. Yeah. The evidence is written. You know that song? It's written all over your face. You don't have to say your word. It must. <laughs> In your face is written 2,023 years since AD after their BC before Christ. Not since Muhammad, not since Buddha, not since Joseph Smith, not since Mother God, Aung San Yong, Toyota, Mitsubishi, and all the other gods that the people are believing. <laughs> Yeah, I says you whatever. <laughs> See, you believe in a false thing. You just believe in a guru, right? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I tell you, you believe, you got to believe the truth. Jesus said you should know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Yeah. Don't believe in Isuzu or Toyota, Mr. Bishi, Ansan Yang. Yeah. <laughs> believe in the truth. And the truth will set you free. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. The hey, truth is hey. in Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. There's only one Savior. His name is Jesus. There's only one God. His name is Jesus. There's only one world. Yeah. There are many planets, but there's only one world. There's only one sun, there's only one moon, there's only one God, there's only one Savior, there's only one truth, and His name is Jesus, hallelujah. Amen, amen. one only one God. Hallelujah. God bless you. One moon, brother. The moon up there, there's only one. There's only one sun, the sun up there, that shines. There's only one rub. There's only one God. You only see? One, one rub. Hey. <laughs> One God hour. bless you. Have a good night. Eh? I know you're a bit confused. <laughs> but I tell you, when you know the truth, you're no longer confused. You're no longer believing in Mr. Bishi and Aung San Yong, Mother God, Joseph Smith, and Buddha or whatever. Hallelujah. That's why you're confused. Come to the light. Amen. Turn the light on. And you will see Jesus is the light. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen.